back with another garden update here. Girl Scout cookies looking pretty good. We're done day three of flower here. California orange, pretty good. Blueberry CBD. Never really thickened back out, but it's growing green and healthy again, so we'll get a few colas. Then we got the squatty, short little California orange. I don't even know if much of that'll reach this trellis, but did a little bit of training here. Just to, had two of these real tall ones, so I put my uh, little weight on there. Got a bell sinker and a piece of blast line. But that one was tall, this one was also a bit tall, they were about the same height, so, you know. Again, I got my little sinker there. I also weaved it into the trellis net a little bit there, so that'll stand up and be about the same height as the rest. I also lowered the net a couple of inches. This one here is going to explode, but it's on the outskirts of the tent anyways, so I'll just leave that one. This one too is probably going to explode, it looks like a top, probably looks very dominant. But for the most part it's a fairly even canopy after this small training session. So I think that's, uh, what is this, day three? Yeah, day three or four of flower, so. Twelve more days we'll be showing some pistol clusters. The in-between canopy here so that's a good uh, I don't know six or eight inches or so looks pretty good Girl Scout cookies, little mainline project. I'm not sure that I yielded any more by going that route. However, it does look like it's going to be some easy trimming. And that's definitely the benefit to, uh, to training. Higher nuggets, better bag quality. This is a beautiful plant, and it's starting to show a little bit of color here. Might be a little bit hot at the top of the tent here for a little bit of taco, but definitely lots of purples coming out in her. It's out my garage here, so it gets uh, quite chilly at night. I do have a little supplemental heater here, but for a little while there, I was letting her dip down to uh, 12 degrees. That was the lowest temperature I've seen in here, so brought out a little bit of purple, so I'm gonna have to try out some purple strains in here and see see what kind of colors I can get to pop in here and there be an easy easy place to do it. Another round of compost tea brewing. Now this is the second day I brewed this tea. So the first 24 hours, I had watered to my plants, left a little bit in the bottom, filled it back up with water, and gave it some more molasses, and a little bit of my fermented fruit juice here. So I got some bananas and, uh, fuck, I forget what else in there. I think there was some tomato also. So uh, yeah, there's lots of lots of potassium and bananas, I believe. So should be a good one for the flower recipe. And another thing I did with that that tea is after I had finished brewing the tea the last time, I drained out my little bag here, uh, squeezed it all out, and then I just set it off to the side, and it grows a mycelium 
because I also use a, a malted barley meal and a popcorn, malted popcorn meal that I blend together. So I malt it, blend it, and I keep it dry. And then when I do my teas, I add it into the tea and then it leaches in for... So uh, it's, a, it's a good base for that mycelium to grow. I also uh, add IMO, IMO2 which is uh, organic microorganisms that I've collected. Uh, so yeah, they're good for teas and whatnot. Korean natural farming, I don't do, uh, do it to the fullest extent, but I add it into my organics. So anyways, there's uh, that old batch of tea material that had that fungus growing on it. So that's kind of a, Kind of gives it a bit of a jump start. I also got my heat mat. Now that I'm out in the garage, I need my little heat mat to make a nice head on her. Um, but anyways, this this tea has been pretty efficient. Made a short video before, but I did uh, I did a quick foliar spray. I gave my clones a little shot, and all of the medium started growing this uh, crazy mycelium and fungus. And so it must be a good batch of tea. What do we got going on, the babies? Babies are coming up. These ones have been topped. And I cut the the second set down from the top of fan leaves. Just chop those off to get a little bit extra. So once they grow up a little bit more there, I'll just hack the rest of those big fan leaves off and let those shoots come up as <coughs> their dominant shoots. Trim off the bottom shoots for clones. And then uh, by that time there should be uh, four weeks and then they'll be off to the side of the tent. She'll be coming down pretty soon. I almost want to let it go a little bit longer than prescribed. And the, the veg tent. Couple little auto flowers. I don't know about that little feller. However, the rest are looking healthy. Not really sure what happened to that one. Just is not liking life. But whatever. I'll let it roll. Girl Scout cookies, Gorilla Glue, and a Mexican red hair, and a blueberry CBD for next run. One of these is going to be my California orange mother, there's my blueberry CBD mother, and my Cali OG Kush Amnesia Haze mother. Still running the two small sets. Only pushing uh, 178 watts through them right now, so running them that gentle, the efficiency goes up quite a bit, so we're probably getting damn near 200 watts worth of light. <clears throat> so, so, I could probably scooch this one in a little more, eh? Well, those ones are the only ones I'm really concerned about growing at the moment. I think maybe I'm going to lift them up into the light a little bit higher. These ones I just got off to the outskirts there. I don't really want them uh, to be growing massive out of control. Kind of, that's why I got the small pots. Just keep them in small pots. Small plants. I think I'm going to start putting my auto flowers in, uh, in these seven gallons. These are weird seven gallons. They're very uh, tall and cylindrical like. Um, at first I didn't really like the idea of that because I found, you know, most plants kind of grow to the width of their pot, so having a taller pot's really not that ideal, but then I've seen how good they fit in my seedling tent, so I think maybe I'm just going to continue to use them, because before I, I couldn't put eight in here at all, even six, they're kitty cornered, doesn't fit proper even with six like to run 10 gallons eventually there if I can upgrade tents uh, one day there if I get another 8x8 
10 gallon pots would be the way to go but as of right now maybe I'll make this just a mother a mother room an auto flower area and then do all my vegging in there I don't know always room for improvements Well, do a foliar feed, compost tea, watering. Well, after the races.